y'all already know what time it is. Like y'all know. Hi my Gozy Girls, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the Gozy Girl crew, sis come on in. I am so glad to have you guys here. You know, you know what I was about to ask you already know. All that we ask you to do is upon coming in, you know, take your shoes off at the door. But also go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you are a returning Gozy Girl, since you already know the deal, we are family up in here. It is nice to see you on this Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Today for you guys, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how I, you know, got this nice little slick bun on my little 4C hair. Ooh, ooh. I'm, you know, I'm going to stop talking right now because y'all know I can talk for days. Just talk, 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 talk. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. First, we're going to start by spraying our hair with aloe vera juice. You never want to manipulate your hair without it being moisturized or hydrated. So you guys, please don't skip this step, y'all. Please. The best way to describe my technique is how do you eat an elephant in parts. So what you're going to do is separate your hair into sections and apply the product to each section separately. Using this technique has given me the best results with my slick buns without having my hair like blown out or having any additional heat to my hair. And also, if your hair is a little bit thicker or if you're a little bit more tender headed, you might have to do smaller sections, okay? Once I get done detangling my hair with my Denman brush, I'm going to go in with my Eco Styler gel that's infused with argon oil and I'm going to apply it to the back section of my hair. I don't know about anybody else, but the back of my hair is the kinkiest part of my hair, let me tell you. So I'm going to go in with my main choice freezing gel from their Four Leaf Clover collection and apply it only to the back part. Whichever areas of your hair that's the kinkiest, I suggest using this product. And as I move towards the thicker sections of my hair, I go ahead and separate my one large section into two separate sections. Um, like I said before, it's easier to eat an elephant in parts. So for the best results, you want to get as many sections as possible while not making too many, if that makes sense. After I apply my Eco Styler Gel, I'm going to go in with my Edge Booster Edge Control and go ahead and apply it to that one subsection, okay? Um, I know what you guys are thinking, yes, it's the Edge Control, but look, it holds and it gives me shine. It gives me what I want, so I'm going to use it. And once you have that Edge Control on the rest of the section, go ahead and twisty tie it down, you guys. Now by now, I feel as though y'all should know I love me a good side part, but I'm going to start on this section with the least amount of hair on it and just go ahead and use the technique that I've been using throughout the video. And right here, you're going to see a little bit why I tell you it's important to do it in sections. I really should have split this part into two sections because it's a little bit thicker. Yet, I was being hard-headed and thought I could finesse it. And yeah, it just took me a little bit longer to lay this side down, you guys. I'm not even going to cap. Now, even though you want all of your hair to lay flat, the front part to me is the most important section. So I'm going to go ahead and add an extra step with my Got To Be Free spray and just spray that around my hair. And lastly, I'm just going to take my Edge Booster Edge Control, put it on the brush, and just continue to lay and lay that 4C hair down. Yes, honey. Yes, baby. I gotta give a game. 
Now go ahead and grab your head scarf of choice and tie your head down. You're going to wait a minimum of 20 minutes, but you know, do whatever time blesses your soul. You feel me? Like, wait for however long. No birth until then. Y'all, this is kind of a look right here. I kind of like this. So, oh. I Oh, y'all, I like this. This is a look right here. Oh, baby. Uh-uh. We ain't wearing bonnets out no more. First of all, we never would. And after fluffing out my little puff, this is the final product. Yes! Slayed and laid, baby. The only edges I'm snatching out are yours, not mine. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment or you can hit me up on any of my social media platforms. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye, my cozy girls.